Uh, my name is Reo Eriguchi. In this video, I talk about the paper entitled Homomorphic Secret Sharing for Multipartite and General Adversary Structures Supporting Parallel Evaluation of Low-Degree Polynomials. This is a joint work with Koji Nuida. First, I will introduce a multiparty computation. In this model, we assume several input players holding the private inputs. And then they run some multiparty computation protocol for a function f. Um, for example, we can consider some statistical analysis on private customer information held by several companies. After the protocol, an output player collects messages from um, the input players. And, and then he obtains a value of the function. As for privacy, uh, an adversary corrupts a subset of uh, input players and see their messages during the protocol. Then the privacy requirement is that um, the adversary learns nothing beyond the output. Homomorphic secret sharing is an important building block for multiparty computation. Uh, it is a variant of secret sharing and, it, and so it has a sharing algorithm which takes uh, a secret as input and outputs uh, and shares. As in the standard security definition, we require that some specified subset of shares uh, reveal no information on the secret. Homorphic secret sharing has additional algorithms called evaluation and decoding algorithms. Suppose that the input players generate M shares uh, from their private inputs and send the shares to M servers. Then each server uh, locally runs the evaluation algorithm uh, on a function f and N shares it receives from the input players. Finally, an output player uh, collects all outputs of the evaluation algorithms and um, he runs a um, decoding algorithm whose output is supposed to be a f of x. Homorphic secret sharing has a direct application to multiparty computation. In the, uh, indeed, um, consider the following multiparty computation protocol. Um, M input players uh, distribute shares um, of their secret input using a homomorphic secret sharing scheme. And then each player locally runs the evaluation algorithm on their received shares. Finally, an output player collects uh, all the outputs of the evaluation algorithms and recovers the value of the function. Important features um, of this protocol based on an HS scheme is that it only needs two rounds of communication. The first is sharing inputs and the second is collecting inputs, collecting outputs. Uh, it also has a succinctness which means that um, its communication complexity is um, proportional to the share size, independent of the um, complexity of the function. Furthermore, the corruption power of the adversary is characterized by uh, the adversary structure of the underlying homomorphic secret sharing scheme. Uh, the adversary structure is the collection of subsets of shares, which reveal no information on a secret. Therefore, if we construct a um, homomorphic secret sharing scheme for non-threshold adversary structure, then we can obtain an MPC protocol which tolerates a more general corruption pattern. In this work, uh, we focus on three kinds of adversary structures. Adversary structure is the collection delta of subsets of players uh, whose shares reveal no information on a secret. The simplest case is a threshold adversary structure, uh, which tolerates any collision of at most t players. On the other hand, uh, the most general case is a general uh, adversary structure, which has no limitation on delta. So every adversary structure is classified to uh, general adversary structures. For example, uh, we can consider a um, non-threshold adversary structure induced by a graph. Uh, in this adversary structure, a player corresponds to a vertex, and an adversary is uh, one of the players. And this dishonest player colludes with uh, its adjacent players. Finally, a multipartite adversary structure lies between uh, threshold and general adversary structures. 
Specifically, I suppose that the whole set of players is partitioned into L parts, P1 to PL. Uh, roughly speaking, uh, in a multipartite adversary structure, whether a subset X is uh, in delta or not is uniquely determined by this vector, which counts the number of players in each part. Note that uh, if we set L to 1, um, then um, delta is equivalent to a threshold adversary structure. And if we, if we set um, L to M, then uh, it is equivalent to a general adversary structure. In this sense, a multipartite adversary structure uh, lies between uh, threshold and general adversary structures. Next, uh, we explain the previously proposed uh, homomorphic secret sharing schemes. In this work, uh, we consider a uh, homomorphic secret sharing scheme computing uh, bounded degree polynomials. Uh, first, uh, information theoretically secure uh, HS schemes were proposed for adversary structures satisfying the, the condition uh, called tight QD, which means that uh, for any these subsets in delta, their union does not cover the whole set of players. Uh, three homomorphic secret sharing schemes have been proposed for a threshold, multipartite, and general adversary structures. The security of these schemes um, is information theoretic, and so it does not rely on any cryptographic assumption. But the condition um, type QD puts a strong limit on adversary structures. For example, a threshold adversary structure of type QD means that um, its corruption threshold must be less than uh, M over D. On the other hand, um, if we assume the LWE assumption, um, there is an homomorphic secret sharing scheme tolerating all the adversary structures. These schemes the, achieve the largest corruption threshold, M minus one, which means that um, th they are secure as long as there is at least one honest player. But we must assume a narrow class of uh, cryptographic assumptions related to lattices. Recently, uh, two homomorphic secret sharing schemes have been proposed um, uh, and they uh, lie between the, these two extreme cases. These schemes assume homomorphic encryption for uh, degree k polynomials, which can be obtained from various hardness assumptions such as Diffie-Hellman problem in addition to uh, LWE. Furthermore, uh, for the degree k uh, of the underlying homomorphic encryption scheme, and they can tolerate a wider class of adversary structures of type QDK. Uh, we do not give its formal definition here, but an important point is that the class of tolerable adversary structure uh, is wider than uh, those of um, type QD. For example, um, in the threshold case, and type QDK means that the uh, corruption threshold is uh, less than k plus 1 times um, m over d, which is uh, k plus 1 times larger than the uh, upper bound for, for type QD. And the threshold scheme uh, has constant share size. On the other hand, the general uh, homomorphic secret sharing scheme has uh, share size uh, exponential in m. Uh, this work also followed that direction of research. Uh, based on uh, homomorphic encryption, um, we first show a novel homomorphic secret sharing scheme for multipartite adversary structures of type QDK, computing the DRE D polynomials. The share size of our scheme is polynomial in the number of players, and so more efficient than the general uh, construction. Um, Furthermore, because our scheme tolerates a multipartite adversary structures, it is more general than the threshold scheme. In addition, uh, we show that um, these three um, homomorphic secret sharing schemes can be extended to homomorphic secret sharing for a CMD computation, which means that it computes a single polynomial on L different inputs in parallel. And the overheads in share size are all log of L. Therefore, our technique is more efficient than the naive solution of simply running L computations independently, which results in an overhead proportional to L. 
As a drawback, however, uh, the adversary uh, structures of our HS schemes must satisfy a stronger condition, um, which we call type QDKL. But it is um, still wider than the information theoretic bound of type QD. Uh, from now on, we explain our construction of homomorphic secret sharing scheme for general adversary structures, which supports parallel evaluation. As we said earlier, based on homomorphic encryption, there are three homomorphic secret sharing schemes for adversary structures of type QDK. In this work, we show that uh, these homomorphic secret sharing schemes can be extended to the ones supporting a parallel evaluation of a single polynomial, while the class of tolerable adversary structures becomes smaller. An important point of our technique is that the overhead is only logarithmic in L, uh, the number of comp parallel computations, and therefore it is more efficient than the naive solution of simply running uh, L computations independently. Uh, due to the time constraint, we only uh, explain the case of general adversary structures. Technically, uh, we use the notion of packed secret sharing. Uh, the previous homomorphic secret sharing scheme can tolerate general adversary structures, but does not support parallel evaluation. On the other hand, a packed secret sharing scheme uh, supports parallel evaluation, but can only uh, tolerate threshold adversary structures. In this work, we propose a novel way to combine uh, two schemes, and as a result, we obtain a homomorphic secret sharing scheme, which not only tolerates general adversary structures, but also supports parallel evaluation. Before explaining the details of a technique, we recall that uh, we recall the a previously proposed homomorphic secret sharing scheme. Uh, let delta be a general adversary structure. Without loss of generality, we may assume that uh, delta is monotonically decreasing, uh, by which we mean that um, if A is a subset of B and B is in delta, then A is also in delta. So then, uh, delta is um, uniquely determined by only specifying all maximal subsets, A1 to AM. Um, in the previous scheme, a secret input um, is, an, uh, is an element of a finite field because uh, it only supports one-shot computation. In its share generation, um, first, a secret S um, is randomly split into n random elements, S1 to SM. Here, n is the number of uh, all maximal subsets of delta. Then, uh, for each i, uh, si is given to a players which does not belong to a maximal set ai. And the players in ai uh, receive a cipher text of si. So then, the uh, privacy is straightforward because for any maximal subset ai, uh, players in this set uh, only receive a cipher text of SI, and so they do not obtain any information on SI. So uh, therefore, they can uh, they cannot learn the secret input S either. Uh, to extend this homomorphic secret sharing scheme to uh, parallel computation, we also use the notion of packed secret sharing. Here we consider a threshold adversary structure. In this scheme, a uh, secret input is supposed to be a, an L-dimensional vector. Uh, in its chair generation, uh, we choose a random polynomial, phi, uh, such that the values of phi at, uh, at L different points, alpha 1 to alpha L, uh, are equal to the secret vector. And also that the degree is at most t plus L minus 1. Then we give a uh, uh, a point phi of j and to the j server as its share. As for privacy, uh, t shares uh, reveal t linear constraints on the coefficients of phi. But the number of coefficients of phi is t plus l, and so uh, there are still l unknown uh, coefficients, which protects um, uh, l secrets. So, uh, in summary, 
uh, T shares reveals no information on the secret vector. On the other hand, uh, T plus L shares are sufficient to recover the interpolating polynomial phi because, again, the number of uh, coefficients of phi is T plus L. So then we can compute the secret vector from this polynomial. Uh, from now on, uh, we show our homomorphic secret sharing scheme, which combined the previous homomorphic secret sharing scheme for general adversarial structures and packed secret sharing scheme. Recall that um, general adversary structure is determined by uh, all maximal subsets A1 to AN. Uh, now, a secret input is an L-dimensional vector uh, because we consider parallel computation. As in the previous homomorphic secret sharing scheme, we first split the input vector S uh, into n random vectors S1 to SN. Uh, this is a simple extension of the uh, previous scheme to vector-valued uh, inputs. Next, we associate um, each vector SU with a maximal uh, set AU. And we share the vector SU uh, using a packed secret sharing. Precisely, we choose a random polynomial uh, phi U um, and give phi U of J uh, to the um, the J's player uh, if it is not in AU, and give a ciphertext of phi U of J uh, to uh, players in AU. Then the privacy is straightforward. Uh, for any maximal subset AU, uh, players in this set uh, do not learn any information on the um, polynomial phi U because all of, all of its values are encrypted. So therefore, they do not learn the, uh, the vector SU, and so the secret vector S either. Now, uh, we show how our scheme performs a parallel evaluation of a single degree D polynomial. Uh, let um, x1 to xd be uh, D secret inputs, uh, which are L-dimensional vectors. It follows from the construction of our scheme that each secret vector is split into n random vectors, and then each of them uh, is shared via packed secret sharing using the random polynomial. We consider the product of D secrets. Um, here, star denotes the element-wise product. And this monomial is expanded to uh, the sum of n to D uh, monomials. Note that uh, each of them can be computed uh, if the product of their interpolating polynomials um, is recovered. More precisely, uh, because um, the degree of this polynomial is dl-1, if we collect more than um, dl-1 points of this polynomial from servers, we can recover it by uh, Lagrange interpolation. Recall that um, from the construction, server i has the points of phi u as plain text if it, is, uh, it, it does not belong to a u. <coughs> and um, it, has the points of, uh, it has the points of phi u as cipher text if it is in a u. Then the value of this polynomial at i is separated into uh, two parts. The first is the product of points associated with maximal subsets not containing i, and the latter is the product of the remaining points. <coughs> then a server i only has ciphertext of these values in the second part. An important point is that if the number of ciphertext in the um, second part is at most k, then the server i can compute a ciphertext of this value because of the correctness of homomorphic encryption. Therefore, uh, the evaluation of degree d polynomial succeeds if uh, the following condition holds. For any uh, combination of d indices, j1 to jd, there are sufficiently many servers such that the number of ciphertext is to be uh, multiplied is at most k. Precisely, we require that the number of uh, such servers um, to be more than the degree of this polynomial, uh, that is dl minus 1. 
then the output the player can recover at this polynomial um, from the points uh, sent by uh, servers. And then he obtains a multiplication of these secret vectors. However, uh, that is, um, this is not our final homomorphic Ziegler sharing scheme. There is some, uh, some room for optimization. As in our uh, former construction, we split a secret vector uh, into random vectors, but now uh, we also give servers um, ciphertext of derivatives of the interpolating polynomial. Uh, privacy is still hold true because uh, this additional information is encrypted. We omit the details, but uh, because of this additional information, an output player obtains more information on the product of secrets from servers. So uh, as a result, uh, this scheme can compute a polynomial of higher degree. In addition, so far, we only consider a privacy against servers, but in application to MPC, we also require that an output player um, should not learn any information beyond the value of a function. So for that, uh, we need to re-randomize uh, the outputs of the evaluation algorithm uh, with random shares of zero. Then the condition on the adversary structure is slightly changed. Uh, this is the uh, final condition, uh, and we call it uh, type QD KL. Uh, we note that if we set L to 1, it is equivalent to a type QDK, uh, which is the condition required at the previous homomorphic secret sharing scheme. Therefore, uh, our scheme supports L parallel computations while the condition um, be becomes stronger as L grows. As for privacy, uh, as for, sorry, as for efficiency in our scheme, each server uh, receives at most n field elements and at most n ciphertext. Here, n is the uh, number of maximal subsets of delta, uh, which is exponential um, in the number of players in the worst case. On the other hand, um, to, share vector, to share secret vectors instead of scholars, we need to choose a finite field containing at least n plus l elements. Therefore, the share size of our scheme is uh, 2 to m times a log of m plus l. Finally, uh, we summarize this talk. In this work, we first propose a novel homophic secret sharing scheme for multi-parted adversary structures uh, of type QDK. The share size of our scheme is uh, polynomial in the number of players and so more efficient than the uh, general construction. Furthermore, uh, because of our scheme tolerates multi-parted adversary structures, and so um, it is more general than the threshold scheme. In addition, we show that the, uh, the, these three homomorphic secret sharing schemes can be extended to the ones uh, for CMD computation, which means that um, it computes a single polynomial on L different points. The adversary structures of our homophic secret sharing schemes must satisfy a, a stronger condition, which we call type QD KL. But the overheads in, um, in share size are all log of L. So therefore, our technique is more efficient than the naive solution of simply running um, L computations independently. And these are uh, references. Uh, this is the end of my talk. Uh, that's all. Thank you.